Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well and looking forward to getting into today's video, which is all about jackets. It's coming into that time of year where jackets are gonna get essential and I think it's good to have a little reassess of your jacket wardrobe um, and your coat wardrobe just to see what really suits your style and what maybe doesn't and if you are thinking about purchasing new jackets for the new season then hopefully this video will be a useful guide for you. So this video is going to demonstrate how jackets can completely transform your looks and I I think they go so neglected and people often see them as the last thing you do with your outfit. It's that thing you throw on as you're going out of the house. It's a thing people just see as that extra layering piece and actually they've probably paid way more attention to the outfit underneath than the outside and just kind of thrown that jacket on um, over the top without much consideration, just maybe thinking of the practicality rather than the look of it. But actually, I want to demonstrate with this video that it's probably your jackets and your outerwear, especially going into the new season, that really transform your style, your look, kind of what genre you want to go for within your outfits. So the way I'm going to demonstrate this today is just by using a single base layer and then just swapping my jackets and then I'll change my shoes and accessories as well just to create the outfit. But it's really just all about that jacket and I think just by using that one base layer you'll see how much the jacket transforms the outfit. And I, also as a side note, it just demonstrates how useful this kind of base layer is um, to creating so many different looks. So I've got this t-shirt on from Arquette. It's a heavyweight one. I swear by these, I love them so much. And then these jeans from Zara, which I actually linked the other day on Zara. And it looks like they're almost all sold out now. I bought this second pair. I've got one in a different shade of denim and then one in this like lighter, almost like a stony wash denim. I think these are almost sold out as well, but I bought these because I could see the others were selling out. I thought quick before they've all sold out, but hopefully there'll still be a couple around and I'll put the link um, in the description box as well, just in case. And maybe in your country, it might not be sold out. So I've got this base layer on anyway. And I think it just also proves how um, versatile this base layer is. But let's get on to our first jacket, which is the trench coat. So the trench I'm using today is actually this one from Naked Fashion. Um, this is a new in one as well. So hopefully this hasn't sold out yet. I'll try and find the link for it, but it's a really good trench. It is quite long. So if you are petite, then I think it might be a little bit too long unless you got it taken up. But actually I feel like a floor length trench coat could look really cool because it's quite lightweight too. I love the shape of it. It's just like a kind of straight, simple shape and it's a really, really good color of beige as well. I think when this video goes live, I might have a naked discount code as well. So I'll link it in the description box if it's still active. But what these trench coats convey, this is very much a classic trench coat. And to me, what this creates is a really timeless, look to your outfit. It also does a couple of other things as well. And one, I think it's got that casual element to it. It doesn't feel too structured and over the top. So if you are a bit more of a casual person, then I think a classic trench like this would definitely suit you. But kind of on the flip side of that is that it's got a workwear element to it. And I think that's because it is very kind of classic. It doesn't feel too out there. It doesn't feel too fashion forward. So you can then translate that into workwear as well. So if you're looking for a jacket that really is a hybrid between um, something that you can dress down and wear very casually with a pair of trainers, and then you could kind of flip it around and wear it more for workwear. Then I think this one is for you, especially if you're a more classic person who probably needs a jacket maybe more in the daytime. And for somebody who needs easy uh, versatility in their outfits, I think this is great for a busy mum if you've got lots of um, different occasions you've got to go to in a day. This kind of trench coat ticks that box. So on the flip side, let's move on to the leather or faux leather trench. 
So the one I've got today is from Duracoco. Um, I'll try and link it below because this is from a few months ago actually, earlier in the year. So hopefully it'll still be online. But a leather trench uh, is just the cooler alternative to the classic trench. So although I've got the exact same outfit on underneath, you can really see the difference between the classic trench and the leather trench. They're both trench coats, but the fabric of the leather just really um, kind of gives it that toughness and that edginess. So if you're somebody who maybe likes to add accents of trend pieces or likes to toughen more feminine things up, for example, I've got the ballet flats on here, which are quite feminine. If you don't like that head to toe feminine look and want to add add some edge to your outfit, then I think the leather trench is the way to go. We're going to be seeing a lot of these around in the new season as well. So like I said, if you want to add that trend element into your outfit, then I think a leather trench is a really good way to do that because it is still versatile and flexible as well, especially if you go for maybe like a neutrally brown shade or a black, then I think you'll find it translates uh, really nicely to lots of different outfits. I could see this with some more kind of formal wide leg trousers or straight leg trousers. You could go for a shorter skirt with this as well and it would look really nice. Different shapes of jeans too. So it's definitely going to be a versatile one if you're looking for that cooler version of the classic trench. So next is the blazer. So this is the Massimo Duty one that I've raved so much about um, in my last video. And it's just like this kind of slightly oversized gray structured blazer. And I think you can just see such a difference in the outfits between the trench and then the blazer. It completely changes the um, way your outfit looks. Obviously I've styled my accessories, my shoes around the blazer as well. So that does aid in changing the look of things, but it really is that jacket that um, changes the overall feel of the outfit. So a blazer to me um, obviously evokes a bit of structure and that translates to formality in your outfits. So it feels a little bit more pulled together, more polished. It's also slightly androgynous as well, um, which I think, again, if you want to offset some slightly more feminine pieces, um, it's a really nice way to bring some contrast into your outfit. A blazer also works very well if you are a more casual person and want to just smarten up your looks a bit, but don't want to completely change your wardrobe. Say if you're somebody who wears loungewear all the time, you maybe wear leggings a lot, you maybe wear slouchy jeans a lot. Actually, just by adding the blazer into your autumn wardrobe will just finish it off and kind of give it that polished element that contrasts nicely against the casual in that it doesn't take the casual element away from it, but it just makes it feel a little bit more intentional. Number four is the cropped jacket. So specifically um, for this, I'm talking about this very ladylike style of cropped jacket, collarless, it's kind of very polished, it's chic, it's put together. And again, this has that um, element of formality that the blazer has, but it's actually very different to the blazer because it has that much more feminine feel to it. Like I said, the blazer feels a little bit more androgynous, tough, maybe a little bit edgier. This feels a lot more polished. It also feels um, a little bit dressier too. So again, these are really nice, contrasted against something like the jeans that I'm wearing now. But also, if your wardrobe is a little bit more tailored, then this will sit really nicely amongst those pieces. Wide leg trousers look so good with um, these crop jackets, but also things like satin midi skirts look so chic. And again, a bit like the leather trench, this adds a bit of a trend element to your outfit. It's got that old money trend about it. So if you're looking to add that into your wardrobe, then this style of jacket is a really nice way to do so. This one's from Marcella London. Um, they've got like a newer version of this out on their site at the moment, and I'll try and link some alternatives as well. But I find it so interesting as we go through the jacket, you can really see the difference that just by changing that jacket makes and the importance of considering your jackets, what kind of person you are, what's your personality, what do you wear the most, and maybe what you're lacking in your wardrobe. 
For example, like I was saying about the casual, um, if you're an all casual person, but you're finding that your outfits feel a bit scruffy, then you do maybe need to add a blazer into your wardrobe. So I think it's really about breaking your own style down, taking a step back and reflecting on what is actually necessary for you and your lifestyle. Number five is the bomber jacket. So this is a little bit more of a slightly structured bomber, a little bit more of a grown up bomber and it's got a collar to it as well. But I would say it's a bit like the trench coats with this. This is like the cooler sibling of um, the jacket we've just shown. So if you like that jacket, but maybe feel like that look is a little bit too formal for you, then go for something like this as well. This shape is really good if you're somebody who likes lots of baggier trousers, balloon shapes like this, wide legs, slouchy styles. Um, also midi skirts, these look really, really good with because you've got that cropped. It just balances out that longer length really nicely. So if you're somebody who wears all of those things and wants to add a slightly cooler element to your look than the more polished jacket, then I'd go for something like a sophisticated bomber because I think they come in really, really useful for your wardrobe. This is from AMR London, but again, I'll link some alternatives. I actually included a collarless one in my Massimo Duty Roundup, which I actually ended up ordering last night um, because I think the collarless just feels even more casual than this. And that's the kind of thing I've been looking for is some casual but chic jackets that aren't blazers. So hopefully that will be a nice update for my wardrobe. But I think, like I say, if you're looking for that more casual element that still has a slightly polished feel, you wear lots of baggy trousers, then a cropped bombery style is probably um, for you. Another jacket we see so much around in the autumn winter is the smart tailored coat. So this one is from Mamu Studios and I've got a couple of different variations of these. I've got a white one, I've got a black one, camel, um, and I wear them all when it comes to that transitional season. They work so nicely with simple base layers like a t-shirt, like a lightweight knit, a tank top um, for those kind of days where it's going a little bit crisper, but it's not cold yet, and but you still want to have that autumnal feel. So this, it's very much like the blazer actually, but it works in a different way. It has that polished element that a blazer does. It has um, that more sophisticated feel to it. But I actually think it's slightly more casual than a blazer because you've got that longer length. It just feels a little bit more laid back in a way. You've kind of got that swooshing fabric. It, I think it feels less um, structured than the blazer. It's, it's got a slightly less boxy feel, although it is a boxy jacket. The blazer just feels that little bit more workwear like almost. Whereas this maybe feels slightly more casual. I think this is a really nice one. If it's a little bit colder where you are and you find that blazers probably, maybe there's only a couple of weeks in the year that you could wear a blazer because it's not warm enough for when it goes cooler. So this is a really nice alternative to that where you've still got a little bit more warmth but the same feel and shape as the blazer. In the cutaway, um, I've paired it with some slightly more formal accessories, but that kind of coat works in the same way as a blazer in that it really would help to smarten up your casual pieces. Trainers would look so good with this. A loungewear set would look so good with this, but also it works nicely to complement more formal pieces. You could wear it for work as well if you wanted to. I'd say this style is quite a universal coat in that it works for so much and so many different occasions. And then finally is the cropped cardigan. So this is very much on the style of the cream jacket from Marseille London that um, I shared before, but it's slightly more casual. We've got an easier feel about it. It's definitely, for me, more wearable because you can make it work more casually. I've actually decided to put it with sandals for this because I thought, if you are in a warmer country and the weather takes a while to transition or you want to have that autumn feel and it's still summery, then these look really nice paired with sandals. So this gives to me and gives a slightly more transitional feel. And then you've got the kind of lighter sandals with it um, just to keep it feeling a little bit summery. So this is a nice way to transition your looks from now to the cooler weather 
Um, and then you can layer this up if you want to. These look really nice, like worn as a jumper with a coat over the top. So you've got that layering element to them. This one again is from Massimo Dutti. I got this last year, um, but I think they've still got similar things available. But just that cardigan has that more relaxed element. So if you loved that ladylike jacket, but feel maybe you won't get enough wear out of that style, then maybe think about doing it in a cardigan as well. And also, it's another way to add that trend piece into your wardrobe while still being pretty classic piece. And I love this um, step we've made towards those classic pieces again. Those classic pieces are actually now a trend piece almost, which I absolutely love. So that's all my jackets. And I really hope just by using this one base layer um, that it's shown how a jacket can just really transform your outfit completely. And I wanted to get into the nitty gritty of what each um, specific jacket and coat and blazer does for your wardrobe because they really have the power to change your looks completely. So my aim was that you go away feeling a bit more clarification and what you maybe need to look for or maybe wear more of within your wardrobe and your style and what these jackets suit um, and the lifestyle that they suit too. So um, let me know if it's been useful. Leave me a comment below. Let me know your favorite jacket as well. I personally don't have a favorite. I love them all. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're still around. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.